Canoes, GOEV, rugged American Bulldog electric pickup spotted out testing. EV startup Canoe, GOEV, is making progress. Most recently, Canoe's rugged American Bulldog electric pickup was spotted testing near its OKC manufacturing facility. After delivering the first EV built at its new Oklahoma City plant late last year, Canoe revealed its latest model. Canoe introduced the American Bulldog electric pickup in November, claiming it's woven into the American spirit with iron and grit. Canoe's electric pickup is a derivative of the Screaming Eagle, which was delivered to the U.S. Army in 2022 for testing. Like the American Bulldog, this vehicle is loyal and courageous. It's woven into the American spirit and reflects this country's innovation, Canoe's CEO Tony Aquila said. When we say, made in America, we mean it. According to Canoe, the electric truck performs like a battleship with its rugged design. In a video introducing the new EV, you can watch it below, Canoe compared the American Bulldog's strength and determination to American workers, similar to a classic Ford F-150 or Chevy Silverado ad. Canoe is progressing with deliveries of its commercial electric van kicking off last month. Although the company previously delivered vehicles to the U.S. Army, NASA, and the state of Oklahoma, those models were for testing. The deliveries were part of a binding 9,300 order from Kingby in November. Canoe has also scored deals from Walmart, Zeba, and others. Last month, Canoe revealed that USPS will purchase six LDV-190 delivery vans. The move is part of USPS's $40 billion investment plan to upgrade the network. Canoe said the U.S. Postal Service will take delivery in Q1. Aquila explained, the multi-purpose platform with steer-by-wire technology and a unique low-profile suspension system allows for a readily configurable right-hand drive system while maintaining desired roll and ride stability. After settling a multi-year SEC investigation earlier this year, Canoe is ready to put the past behind it. The struggling EV startup delivered vehicles to the U.S. Army and NASA. It has also added several clients, including Walmart. Canoe secured $113 million in combined incentives for its EV assembly and battery module manufacturing plants in OKC and Pryor, respectively, in August. It also introduced its LDV-190, expanding its reach into the Class 3 electric cargo van market. The LDV-190 shares the same Mootly purpose platform as its smaller LDV-130 but features a beefed-up suspension to handle the increased payload. Canoe's MPP serves as the base for all of its vehicles. Its lineup includes the lifestyle vehicle, delivery, base, premium, and adventure, multi-purpose delivery vehicle, and pickup. The company lost $161.6 million through the first half of the year, with no revenue generated. Its production plan requires significant funding, and Canoe had about $5 million in cash and equivalents at the end of June. The company has repeatedly doubted its ability to continue operations due to a lack of funding over the past few years. Canoe reports third quarter earnings on November 14, so we will learn more about the company's financial situation next week. Meanwhile, if Canoe can survive, the company expects to benefit from its Made in America strategy. Canoe customers benefit from the IRA's Commercial Clean Vehicle Tax Credit. Customers who buy a Canoe EV are eligible for the $7,500 tax credit.